Hello everyone. It is Wednesday. Wednesday? Mm -hmm. The next day and we are at City of Hope again. I had my mammogram a week or two ago and they said that it requires further imaging. So I'm going in today for another mammogram and an ultrasound of my breasts, right? Yes. I don't know if they check both or one. I think it said both. It's going to be so much fun. <laughs> I'm just laughing at our short-lived um, joyous day. <laughs> right back here doing another test. Yep. I'm, st I'm still happy. Yeah. It's yeah. just um, cancer patients go through a lot. We have to do so much. You guys do. And our support has to also. I appreciate you. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on here? There's a forklift driving They're on the doing, street. They're uh, doing planting. See that huge like planter? Potted plant? Yeah. Let's go. Am I allowed to go down into the... Yeah, my dad went to the women's center with me. Okay, good. All right. Let's do it. Let's go. I am out for my appointments and it took a long time. I hated it to be honest. It was fine. Everyone was nice and it was no big deal. But the, the long amount of waiting had me just thinking things I shouldn't be thinking and going routes me too. that I shouldn't be going. We were like, going down okay, the same path, I think. <laughs> okay. If I'm going to have breast cancer as well, the next step will be blank, and then what about my clinical trial? And then, like, you I know, just my was planning everything. My thoughts were going to, okay, so then do you have an oncologist for breast cancer and an oncologist for lung cancer? Probably. That's double the appointments, no offense, that's double the time. I don't know. What yeah. treatment do they do for your breast? And did it, I, I was, was just going, going all down. all those weird routes, too, but <sighs> it was okay, so I had to, they called me back. And I went into like this locker room, waiting room, where it was just women, patients, and we were all wearing gowns on the top half of us. And I had to wait for it to get called back for my mammogram. They did that very quickly, and the lady was very nice. Is that painful, the actual mammogram itself? I don't think so. But depending on who you are. I've heard people say it can hurt but I've had fluid drained from my lung, yeah. <laughs> you know? So to me, a mammogram is fine. That's good. It really doesn't hurt. Um, even if I had no procedures done, I don't think it hurts. Just Anyways. uncomfortable. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then I went back to the waiting room and I had to wait for my ultrasound and that was probably my longest wait. And I didn't tell you this. Mm. I didn't want to repeat this story twice, so I waited till we got to the car. Oh my gosh. One of those embarrassing moments. So it's like this tight little waiting room. Probably seven women total, including me. And we're all in our little gowns. It's very intimate. Do you guys talk or is it just quiet? No, most everyone's on their phone. Because mm. you're like uncomfortable. You don't know where to look. Yeah. And we're all, it's silent, no music, nothing. And then... Somebody's phone goes off. I get a tickle. Oh no. A tickle. And it's one of those tickles. Kyle had said he'd never had this. And I have on the other. Yeah, a couple, last month. Oh no. I had said, Kyle, have you ever had this where you have a cold and you get this tickle and it leads to like your eye where your eye is tearing and you're just having a dry cough attack. And he's like, no, I've never had that. <laughs> and then he had it last month. And he went into the bathroom at City of Hope and it had just, his cough attack. Oh man, a long one. Yeah, so I started having that and it was like on my right side, my right eye was watering. And I did like a couple coughs in the waiting room to try to get rid of it. Because if it's a cough for like phlegm, it'll go away right after I cough. <laughs> Not this way. But this was just like a dry cough tickle. Hmm. And so I don't know what that is. Like what is that? Nothing will resolve it. I had cough drops, nothing. It's like I just have to have this cough attack in front of everyone? with my eye water. Well, there's a restroom attached to the waiting room, but it's like you could hear someone's urine trinkle. <laughs> so, I mean, 
It's not gonna help you much. I just went into it because I didn't want to be coughing all over these mm -hmm, women. Mm -hmm. And so I'm in the bathroom just hacking. And I am Oof. like, oh my gosh, this is so embarrassing. And then it goes away. I go to the restroom, go back out, sit down. I'm like prepared to explain myself to people if they were to ask, but no one asked. Mm -hmm. And then I'm sitting there thinking, man, that was bad. It couldn't have been on the way to City of Hope. Couldn't have been when I was in my own room. Mm -hmm. it had to be when we're all tight. Then I start to get a tickle on my left side, like five minutes later. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna beat this. So I get like the really strong, powerful cough drops that mm -hmm. I have. And I put those in as I'm getting the cough drops out of the locker. I'm like, bruh, bruh, you know that cough where you're trying to hold it in? <laughs> I'm like, bruh, bruh, and I'm like, oh my gosh. And I have a mask on, but it's like, oh my gosh. So then I get my cough drops and I go straight to the restroom, have another cough attack where my eye is watering. And then I go back out. And no. these ladies had to be thinking, what is wrong with like, this just go woman? home, girl. Yeah, girl, go, bye. But here I was having cough attacks in this tiny intimate no. waiting room. Then I went to my ultrasound. The woman was very nice who helped me. She went to Universal Studios because she's recently. Out? <laughs> huh? Because she was blocked out or no? No. Oh, I thought you guys talked about it. No, I did talk about Disneyland. <laughs> oh gosh. And that's what brought up her going to Universal Studios. She took her nephew and she said that um, it's so much different than back in the day when we went. Oh, that'd be interesting Like the to last go. time I went, I think I was a teenager. Me too. And she said it was like the same for her. Mm. And she said the Harry Potter world is it's really cool. cool. She said she was really impressed. So... Maybe we need to make a trip I think there. we should just go when Mario World opens. Which is in February. For Ellis. Yeah, absolutely. Make and, it a whole day thing. And then after the ultrasound, I had to go back to that intimate waiting room where there were only like two other women or three other women and wait for a doctor to give me the go ahead to leave so he had he or she had to check my imaging make sure that the they got what they needed and then i was allowed to go so i don't have results i don't know when i will get those or how that works let's hope and pray that it was nothing yeah i have dense breasts as i've been told by doctors and i was told that today so it can make things look confusing in... Oh, well, they said that today? Yeah, someone told me that. It can make things look confusing in the mammogram or something. Mm. And so I'm hoping it's just that. What does dense mean? So when I had my lump removed from my left breast at 17 years old, the surgeon said, your breasts were so dense, it was like sawing mm. to cut out the tumor. But he said other people, women, they, just a little whoop. He said it's like butter and a butter knife. Oh. But he said mine was so dense that he had to like saw at my breast. Oh. Well, that would make it confusing if they're trying to look for something in there. Yeah, I'm not sure how it works. I know nothing about this world. He and I were both saying like this is whole new, whole new territory here. Yeah, like we were not familiar with any of it. We're used to the lung cancer world. Which I've noticed a lot of followers that you have have said they're going through breast cancer. Mm -hmm. So... This maybe might you guys, resonate with some of Yeah, them. maybe you guys will have information for me that's helpful. We love to read your guys' tips and tricks and information and knowledge. It's um, very helpful for us because we are learning as we go. Mm-hmm. Yep. Okay, now let's go get the kids. <laughs> We're going to pick up my niece and my kids for our kids for a sleepover at our house. Um... Ashley, my sister, and her husband watched the kids while we were here, and now we're going to go get them. Thanks Except for sitting for in the waiting room for so long. Anytime. I missed you. I, I, missed I you. told Kyle, the worst part of all that waiting, I'm a very patient person, and I will sit nine hours and wait if that's what they need me to do, but it was just that I was separated from you, and... I just missed you, yeah, it was a long time. and it brought me back to when you weren't allowed to go to the appointments. I did feel that I way. I felt lonely. Mm -hmm. I should have brought like a book. I didn't realize it would take so long. It did feel like back at the beginning when we were learning things and mm -hmm. finding things out, we had to wait separately. And I hope it's nothing. I hope it's fine. I think it's fine. 
Your uncle just didn't sound concerned in the slightest. So no. We'll see. Okay. Good job. Thank you. What is here? I am all cozy and ready for our sleepover in my cute pajamas and slippers from my Auntie Kathy. Hi. And, and I'm ready too. We are all and ready my... for a movie and a treat, huh? Uh-huh. And look at my pajamas, baby Opa. And look at, I'm not wearing pajamas, but it's cozy. Cozy clothes. Uh-huh. All right. All right. Thanks for and watching, guys. We love cookies. you. Cookies. Cookies. See you soon.